Hey guys, I'm Courtney and welcome to my bedroom. Where should I sit? Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Apartment tour, even though I've lived here for a year and it's now just starting to look like I've lived here. Okay, let me get a grip. I'm Courtney and I'm having a quarter life crisis on the internet. For today's video, we have run straight out of originality and we're copying a video that I did last year. It's the exact same video. Basically, pretty little thing. Every so often, they will have crazy sales on their dresses, on everything actually, but specifically dresses will be like $4. The thing about that is the the quality comes into question when you're able to purchase a dress for four dollars. Now, did I love any of them? No. Did I learn from the first experience of doing this? No. <laughs> so today, <laughs> if you can't tell where this is going, we got our package from Pretty Little Thing. I spent eighty dollars and sixty-three cents in total for ten dresses. That's including shipping. And let me tell you, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, last time, was that that video? Uh, yeah, I had to cut myself out of one of the dresses. <laughs> There's no other way around that. I had to take a pair of scissors and cut myself out of the dress. My head does not fit at all. <laughs> okay, I am one eyelash down, zero patience left. So the goal is to not do that this time. Wow, okay, where to begin? Should we begin with the sweatsuit? Because it's not a dress at all, and I said that I bought 10 dresses, but I forgot that I bought this. It's like this little, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a child. You know what the problem is? The problem is when I buy things online, yes, I'm looking at the outfits, but I'm looking at the girls in the outfits, and I constantly have to get it through my brain that putting on the same outfit is not going to make me look like them. But it's cute. Wellness is a lifestyle, which is hilarious that I have that because I'm one of the most unwell people I've ever the idea is so cute. I'm gonna ins I'm gonna show you for your own because hold on. To defend myself, you need to see what I saw that made me click purchase. I do think it's kind of overkill that they put it on both the pants and the shirt, especially because they're connected. Okay, <laughs> call me crazy, but I think I like this more than I thought I was going to. Am I nuts? Has anyone ever been to the color factory? That's like what their uniform is and I feel like that's what I look like. But I don't hate it. <laughs> because also, like picture me this. I'm in full glam, I have extensions, I'm maybe wearing like a baseball cap of some kind, I have a cute little purse, some sneakers. I think it might be a look. Or I just have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if my friend Alex answers because he'll be brutally honest. Hey. Right? It's like a it's weird uh, image. <laughs> you kind of look like a, a walking sock. What? Not to mention, I basically almost dislocated my shoulder trying to put this on. I have no idea how I'm going to take it off. We have this little number. It's a color choice for sure. Oh, <laughs> Where would I wear this? Where? It's cute. I do like the color. It's coming up more yellow. She's a lime green. How much was this? 680. Oh, and it's cuz I just looked at it again. I would buy it again cuz of the model. I mean, she's gorgeous. <laughs> As suspected, this one's a no for me. It's not the worst, and maybe if it was black, but even then, uh. <laughs> the quality's not bad though, honestly. Like it's not see-through. I don't think it's very flattering on my skin tone. <laughs> this is my look. Um, we got a gray and black look. We got the double XL. Now on the feet, we got Nike sandals, white socks, really a good match. See, that's my outfit. Enjoy the rest of the video. The only other color is this very blush pink. It is still pretty neutral. And it feels... <laughs> I mean, that's a t-shirt. Hold on, though. This is a size, this is a size four. Who is this fitting? I mean, I know it's gotta be stretchy, but this looks like I got it from the kids section. I know it's gonna be see-through. You can feel it through the material. Let's state the obvious. It's see-through. I mean, and I, I called it though, but overall, the fit is fine. It's bodycon. There's really no way that you can go wrong with it, except for the fact that it is see-through. But for $3, I don't know if you could expect much more. 
if you're gonna wear it like over like tights or something with like a sweater maybe to the point where you almost don't see the dress anymore have at it fits well she's see-through do with that information what you will now literally the only other color that we have besides all of the black ones is this brown one this is like a neutral it's pretty it's like kind of reflective actually i like the little tie this one's definitely not as see-through i wouldn't say it's the most forgiving material but it feels nice it fits decent i don't love the top part on me but the rest is fine i like the color i don't know like the top's cute ish i guess all things considered if i had to wear one of those out right now it would be this one you know i've seen worse like literally 10 seconds ago now we only have all black pieces this looked really really cute they're all gonna be that thin like it's not a bathing suit material but it's like close to it it's like very very thin probably see through the black might be helping you a little bit this one's probably gonna be long on me it could be a moment or like a scene as i'm sure you can tell we are not in the same location it is not the same day in editing we realized that i somehow managed to not try on two of the dresses don't know i don't know how do you just not try on two dresses out of like 10 that you were i don't know now now, literally months later and I'm just trying this dress on for the first time yeah the normal rundown very thin very see-through I like the fit of it and I actually like I really like the open so I, I don't know I like this one a lot guys I don't know other than the fact that it's literally so see-through I really like this one maybe I could use this as a costume for just a picture you know what I'm saying okay well enjoy the rest of the normal video Okay, the neckline on this one giving me flashbacks. I mean, and this looks small too. I don't know. And listen, I'm one for a mini dress. I am. For some reason, these just look like they're getting smaller and smaller. Oh, well, this one's a size two. Size two with that neckline? The scissors might be an annual thing as well as this video. This one here, I have hope in this one. This one might be a good one. I think. I could be entirely wrong, but I think we might have found a winner with this one. This one was $5, so that would be great if I had a great $5 black dress out of this, or $80 if I don't like any of the other ones. That's the thing, if I like one of these, or even two, two $40 dresses, that's not bad. The quality, questionable. Would I spend $40 on any of these alone? Definitely not. I'm reaching. I've become aware of that, I'm reaching. <laughs> All right, this one's actually decent, other than the fact that I would need to like steam and iron the top part and the bottom part to like kind of get it to go in the right direction. It's not necessarily see-through, it's just like not very forgiving. For $5, I think this will get the job done. This one, <laughs> when I ordered it, I knew. I was like, who do I think I am? But I just wanted to try it. I have absolutely nowhere that I would ever wear this to. I wish it was me, I do. Um, you know, I do. <laughs> I'm not even gonna give my thoughts on it because I pretty much knew my thoughts on it, but it's kind of fun, you know? Sure, it's different. I remember seeing this one and thinking like, this is actually like a good, like kind of classic, just all black dress. I feel like it could be just a good go-to. And at the low cost of $5, or if you're a size four, hit me up because I'm not gonna go anywhere in it. Okay, honestly, I think that this might be the first like decent one. I don't know, decent might be too strong of a word, but I think I would wear this out. Considering I don't go out, this is all just an educated guess. Also, in addition to hearing the birds chirping, you'll hear my neighbors because this neighborhood has the most avid gardeners. There's always someone outside, so I'm sorry. You know, it's good. People are going outside, they're living their lives, and then there's me, the hobbit on the internet. Treat me good. Color may run. I see. I'm kind of most excited to try this one on. I may quickly regret that or change my mind on that. This looks... Okay, hold on. I'm confused. These look like parachute pants. Hmm. How does it look on the model? Oh, you cross, you crisscross, I believe, or something or other. Yeah, sure. The sizing on this one is definitely a little weird for me, but I think it's just because of how short I am. The pants are very long, like to the point where they're dragging. I put on heels to try to like help the 
the effect. You get the idea. I don't, uh, I don't know. The more I look at it, the less I like it. Hey guys, it's two months later. We're back in the bedroom and we made it through the entire video without having to break the scissors out. So in some ways you might call that a success, but I had fun filming the video. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this one. But until then, if you want, you can subscribe to join the chaos. You can subscribe to the vlog channel to continue the chaos and you can follow my quarter life crisis all over the internet at Quartz Chaos and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye guys.